Okay, so we're making some glass beds for 3D printers. Um, I've got an Ender 5 Pro, which requires a 235 millimeters by 235 millimeters bed. Um, I picked up these mirrored tiles from IKEA um, online. Though they came through Amazon. Um, Twenty pounds for for four tiles. Now the tiles when they come are three hundred millimeters square, so I need to do a little bit of cutting. What I like about these tiles is that they're pretty thin, um, so any heat coming from the the heated bed will will quickly warm this up. Um, you see, I've already made two two there. There's there's one here, and there's already one on the the printer that I've tried. I'm quite happy with it, so I'm going to cut the rest up. Um, so it does heat up pretty quick, which was one of the concerns that I had. I thought it would take some some time to heat the bed, but it's pretty it's pretty rapid. So um, so it, we're good to go. Uh, the first one I noticed when I was I was cutting. I mean I I'm not not experienced in cutting glass, but I've got a glass cutter uh, and I used a straight edge. I even taped taped down the straight edge so that that didn't move. But even pulling pulling this. Um, it was quite easy to move away from the the steel ruler, and uh, and just 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 lose your line. So what I've decided to do, I've got two pieces of of timber there, uh, and just put two screws through, and then just just some washers inside there that is the same size as the width of the um, the width of the glass cutter there. So if I put that down where I need to cut and drag that across, it it, it can't possibly wander. Um, so that's what I that's what I've been doing. First thing to to realise is that the you're probably not going to be able to see this in the um, in the camera, but the the little wheel cutter there is actually three. The centre of the cutter is three millimetres in from this from this left edge as as you hold it. You pull it that way. It's three millimeters in. So where I need a um, a piece of glass that's two hundred and thirty-five millimeters by two hundred and thirty-five millimeters, what I'm going to do is allow for that three millimeters and make this two hundred and thirty-two. So I've marked out two hundred and thirty-two, a square there, two hundred and thirty-two. If I um, align my timber so that this inside edge is on that line. I know when I cut, I'll be three millimeters further to the right, and that'll give me the three two hundred and thirty-five millimeters. Um, so let's just just quickly show you how that goes. So I'm just lining that up. Okay, that that's aligned. Now this piece of timber is a little bit higher than this piece, and um, I am going to have to have the glass cut quite quite high. If you get um, some thinner timber, I don't know, maybe nine or ten millimeters, something like that. Um, you can perhaps hold this down a, a, at a better angle, but I'm going to have to hold this fairly upright. But it's just as simple as straight through the edge of the the work surface and, and crack. Now I did get a little a little wavering cut there. Um, it's just at the start. I can I can soon I can soon stand that off. Uh, sand that off, but it was just because I, I didn't quite put the pressure on um, at the start. And we'll just trim. There is a plastic cover, uh, plastic coating on the back. We'll just trim that off. Um, we'll pull that off later. So just do the second cut so we can get this a bit better. Okay. Now, now we'll cut there with 235, 235, I just need to sand that little bit off there. Uh, the plastic coating on the back, you can just pull this, pull this off. So put it back on the, the card that it came in and carefully pull this back. Obviously I should, uh, should mention here, gloves, glasses, and if you're doing any sanding of any, of any glass, then you want to be wary of dust mask. You don't want those glass fibers going into your lungs and you can avoid it. Just be careful as you pull this off. Yeah. 
there you go and there's your 235 mil 235 mil uh just clean the ed edges up with a bit of a bit of sandpaper just just lightly on, on the edges just to take off any any loose bits um and then you're good to go and we'll have a look at this on the uh the printer in uh, in a few moments 